2,213,363 U.S. soldiers battled in the Civil War. 626,000 soldiers died in battle. That's a whopping 28%. That's only the soldiers who died in battle. What about the other causes of soldiers' deaths, like diseases or being captured? What about the civilians? Oh, do you really want the statistics? They're pretty depressing and morbid. Yes. Okay, your choice. No backing out now. Well, here we go. 1.5 million people died in total. This includes civilians, and 476,000 died of wounds, and 400,000 were either captured or missing. That's a lot. But wait, what do they do with the dead bodies? Because you can't just leave the bodies on the ground, or they'll rot and cause odor. That's what we're going to discuss today. The disposal of corpses and the effects of the civil There's so many dead people on the ground. What do we do? We can't just bury them all. That'll take too long and expose our men to sickness. Hmm. Let's think. Maybe we could just pile soil on the bodies. Does that count as an appropriate burial? I mean, that's the only thing we can do. If we leave the bodies out too long, they can spread diseases and cause. And we should have a way to honor the lives lost for a good cause. Maybe we should get a woman or a slave to do it. We can't do that, so let's just do it ourselves. Remember the other battles? Jackson told a small crew of soldiers to bury the dead. We're a small crew, so we can get it done. Okay, Connor, spray the body right here. I ain't even got no shovel. At least you have your arms and your legs. One in 13 soldiers lose at least one limb. You should be very grateful. Hey, Connor, this one's also our soldier. I'll cover him with some soil. Oh, uh, here's another body. Don't forget to bury this one. Oh, wait. It's a nasty Yankee. Don't come over there in that trench. Okay. Ugh. Oh, there's some officers over there who have some pine coffins. Maybe we can use those. Oh, okay, I'll do it. It's sad that only a few soldiers get the coffins or a memorial service. These soldiers have families at home who they will never see again. It, it really does tear apart the families. Most of the families don't even know they died. Plus, we don't know the names of the people we buried. That's sad, but it's better than leaving the nameless corpse out. Yep, even the Yankees need to be disposed, but we just piled them up in the trenches. Then they get covered with dirt. You know, I'm glad we won this battle. If we lost, we'd be the bodies that get tossed in the trenches. Oh, you guys remember the McGavick family? They donated two acres to be a graveyard for 1,500 of our men who died in the Battle of Franklin. The McGavicks are still taking care of the graves. Ew, what's that on the edge of the battlefield? That's a soldier, obviously. Why does it have any wounds? I'm not even sure if it's dead. I've probably said this before, but many soldiers didn't die from the battle. They died from diseases from the dead bodies. I thought that was medical care. Yes, but the conditions were very horrible. This soldier here is in very unsanitary conditions, and you probably received like a virus or something nasty like that. And also, the mess in your team is probably really dirty and not clean at all. And that's very exaggerating. I'm sure some soldiers face worse. Yeah, and I heard about Frank when you hear about him. Oh my gosh. He got his leg amputated without it even being put to sleep. That's terrible. He lost the limb too. What was it like? Oh, I didn't have it amputated. A nasty Yankee chopped it off with a bayonet. Amputation is slow and anticipated. I'm sure it's getting better getting lo it lost in war with, by surprise. I don't want to go through therapy and that awful surgery. Oh, but they did dress my wounds. I have a feeling that the dressing wasn't very clean. Glad I didn't get affected from that. You should be glad. These soldiers suffered the fate of poor medical treatment. At least it's better than nothing. Well, you don't know anything. Did you ever get treatment? If you did, you know what I'm talking about. Well, I'm back home. Those Yankees should have lost trying to take away our culture and our lifestyle. Hey, what are you doing here, slave? I ain't a slave no more. I can go wherever I want. Well, you ain't leaving my plantation. Actually, I have a right to leave your plantation. I'm going to take this train in New Hampshire, and I ain't coming back for nothing. Good luck on your car, I feel crippled. But, ah, uh, where's all my cotton? And... And the Indian go rice and all my animal farms. There's nothing here. F Father, you're not dead. But what happened to your arm? Small deal. I think he's pretty much gone. 
the war was destroyed, that has destroyed the whole city. Buildings have been annihilated. Farms have been blown up, and all the livestock is dead. The burying the bodies has been hard enough. What are we going to sure that plenty are going to be uh, making fun of your arm, especially the Negroes? It's good that the Yankees won't be bothering us anymore for a while. We'll be used to the time to reconstruct everything. Okay, but won't that? Yes, but the government is helping rebuild us. Everyone's trying to rebuild the South in this thing called the Reconstruction. Oh. Okay, but what about our life on the plantation? Will we have to rebuild the farm and work on it still? By ourselves? Oh my gosh. With all the slaves gone, it's impossible to have a farm of this size in these vast pieces of land that we all used to have. I've heard this thing from Samuel. It's called sharecropping. Sharecropping? You basically let your Negroes use a piece of land in return for some of the year's harvest crops. It's fair, and you won't lose any business. It's a relief Samuel told us about this sharecropping. This is a really good job. He just saved our lives. He saved my life. But you will constantly have people making jokes about your arm. They'll still stop considering you as a true human now because of your disability. I guess I'll just have to deal with that. But at least now we can resume our culture. You don't know how many people were there, and they live in poverty. Here are some statistics. 620,000 were killed in battle. There were 1.5 million deaths in total, and that includes 476,000 who died from wounds and 400,000 who were captured or missing. There were no national cemeteries or burial details in most of the graves, most of the dead soldiers that were buried. One thirteenth of every soldier lost at least one limb, like Timothy. One fourth of soldiers of war never returned home, and families were torn apart. One third of the households lost at least one soldier, and tens of thousands of families went into poverty because of the war, especially in the South. United States soldiers that took part in the battle numbered about two million two hundred thirteen thousand three hundred sixty-three. Many of them died.